Hello, this is permutation and combination lesson 3.1. In this, I will discuss questions on combination, the concept that I discussed in the previous lesson. Now, first question is in how many ways a cricket team of 11 players can be selected from 15 players? Now, these questions are very easy. You first try yourself, then look at the way I have sold. So, I told you that if I need to select R different things out of N different things and different things I need to select are the formula was NCR in this you can see that 15 different players are there I need to select 11 so formula will be 15 C 11 that will be answer 15 C 11 you don't need to uh, calculate this value the answer will be in this format only if I want to select 11 players out of 15 so formula will be 15 C 11 Second question is, in how many ways a cricket team of 11 players can be selected from 15 players such that selectors have already selected two particular players. Particular word is very important. They have already selected two particular players and they have rejected one particular players. Let's say 15 players are there total. Player number, let's say Virat Kohli, this is one of the player, Virat Kohli or Dhoni, let's say second player is already selected. They are final that they will definitely be selected particular players and one particular player let's say Shri Sant Shri Sant is not going selected due to injury so how many players are left two are already already selected and we don't need to select the one particular player this player is already rejected so how many players are left we are left with you can see that 12 players out of which we have to select how many two are already selected we need to select 11 out of 11 two are already selected so we need to select nine more so 12 players are left we have to select nine of them so formula will be 12 c 9 because two players are particular players have already been selected so we will not include them in the combination so remaining 12 because one have to be rejected 12 are remaining we have to select 9 out of 12 so formula will be 12 c 9 that will be your final answer question 3 is find the total number of handshake in a party of 12 persons if every person shakes hands with every other person now this question can be solved in two ways either by a common sense or by combination concept let me first solve this question by common sense how we can solve this question in a common sense 12 persons are there let's say person number one person number two person number three person number 10 11 and 12 every person shakes hand with every other person now p1 person number one how many handshake he will have he will hand handshake with person number two person number three up to person number 12 he will have handshake of all the remaining 11 players so total number of handshakes will be 11 for p1 now p1 have all possible handshake combination we have taken now what about p2 second person second person have already shaken hand with the first person so we will not include p1 so p2 have p3 p4 p7 and so on p12 so second person will shake hand with the remaining 10 person because first first person have 11 possibility he has take hand shaken with all the remaining 11 so p1 the total possible handshake we have included 11 what about p2 p2 will not when we will calculate the p2 handshake we will not include p1 because p2 and p1 handshake is already done so p2 will have remaining how many people to shake hand 10 so the 10 we will add this what about p3 now we have included all the handshake of p2 what about person number 3 person number 3 has only 9 person to shake hand with because p3 has already shaken hand with p2 and p1 here you can see that p3 has already shaken hand with p1 and p2 so p3 this p3 have how many possibilities p3 has this p3 has nine possibility to shake hand so p3 can be p4 
P5, person number 5 up to 12, 9 possibility. Same way, person number 4 have 8 possibility. And finally, person number 11. Um, let me bit uh, detail. Person number 10, 10th person in the same pattern, 10th person will have how many possibility to shake hand? Only 11 and 12. So 10 person, person number 10 will shake hand with 11 and 12 in this pattern two ways. And finally, person number 11 will have only one option to shake hand with the person number 12. So total handshake, total handshakes will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 10 plus 11. 1 to 11. What is the sum of first n natural number? This is n into n plus 1 by 2. Sum of first n natural number. So sum of first 11 number will be 11 into 12 by 2. That is 66. So total handshakes will be 66 in that party. Now let me explain this question again in a faster manner. First person will shake hand with the all the remaining 11 person. So total 11 handshake. Now he will be let's say move out of the party. Now P2 can shake now hand with the remaining 10 persons. Now move the P2 out of the party. Two person are out. P3 can shake hand with the 9 persons. Now P3 is also out. Same way P4 will be 8 and so on. P11 will be 1. P10 will be 2. So total handshake will be 66. Now that was the one way common sense way. Let me solve this question with the help of combination. It won't take more than 10 seconds to solve this question with the help of combination. Now let's solve with the help of combination. Let's solve this question with the help of combination. Now total persons are 12 we need to count the how many handshakes is there if one person shake hand, hand with every other person now if you select two person if you need to select any two persons how many handshakes will be there let's say we selected person number one and person number 11 two person are select any two persons how many handshake p1 and p11 only one handshake select any two person there will be one handshake in how many ways we can select in how many ways we can select two person if you need to select two persons out of 12 how many ways we have as I told you that to select R things out of N different thing the formula is NCR so if you need to select two persons out of 12 persons because persons are always different 12 persons I need to select two so total ways would be 12 C two selections are possible 12 C two selections are possible now as I only discussed that any selection of two persons any selection of Two person there will be one handshake so for that many selections there will be 12 C2 handshakes will be possible one selection of two person as I discussed if you select any two persons there will be one handshake so how many ways I can select two person 12 C2 one selection one handshake if there were two selections possible of two persons there will be two handshake now 12 C2 ways we can select two person out of 12 and for every selection of two person there will be one handshake. So for I am just writing in detailing explaining in a bit detailed manner. Every selection of two persons one handshake. If there were 10 selections possible, 10 selections of 2 persons, there will be 10 handshakes. Now in this case, how many selections we have? 12 C2 selections of 2 persons. We have 12 C2 ways to select 2 persons out of 12. So that many handshakes will be there. Handshakes will be there. 12 C2. That will be a final answer. 12 C2. As I told you that NC2 is always equals to N into N minus 1 by 2. 
so 12 c2 will be equal to 12 into 11 by 2 that is 66 so 12 c2 would be 66 now if this question comes in exam you can solve this question in less than 10 seconds because if there are 12 person in the party each person shakes hand with every other person we have to select only two person for every selection of two persons there will be one handshake so how many ways we can select two persons that is 12 c2 12 into 11 by 2 answer is 66 question 4 find the total number of matches played played in a cricket league of 15 teams such that each team plays exactly one match with every other team now this is true in all the league matches in a big tournament like world cup in a league matches this happen each teams play exactly one match with every other teams now this is a tournament in which there are 15 teams such that each teams play exactly one match with every other team now if we select any two team any selection of two teams how many matches will be there let's see I, I selected team number one and team number 13 team number 13 how many matches will be there one match select any two teams out of 15 there will be one match so one selection of two two teams one match if there will two selections are possible of two teams two ways I can select two teams there will be two matches now I know how many ways I can select two teams out of 15 different teams I know if I need to select two teams out of 15 different teams my formula will be 15 to C2 selections and for that for every selection of two teams there will be one cricket match so for 15 C2 selections there will be 15 C2 cricket matches so answer is 15 into 14 by 2 that is 105 matches will be there now you can simply count these matches in a faster manner if there are 15 teams then 105 matches are there if every team plays with every other team once question 5 is in how many ways a committee of 5 person can be formed out of 5 men we have 5 men and 6 women men are different women are different 6 women such that there are at least 3 women in the committee total we have to select 5 we have to select 5 out of these 11 at least 3 women at, at least means minimum 3 women must be there so we can have 3 women and 2 men definitely because we have to select 5 person so 3 women 3 w and 2 men or or we can have other possibilities of we can have 4 women and 1 man because we need to select 5 at least 3 women must be there so women can be 4 3 or more than 3 this means 4 women can also be there or 5 women can be there and 0 men no man is there all of them can be women it's not mentioned in the question that men have to be included at least three women means women can be three or four or five now i told you in the fundamental principle of counting first lesson that whenever there is a and you need to multiply whenever there is a or it means that plus so three women i need to select out of six women so number of variables six c3 and means multiplication two men i need to select out of five men five c2 or means plus four women i need to select four women out of six women six c4 into one man out of five men five c1 or means plus and means multiply F five women all out of five out of five five c5 into sorry six c6 six six, six six women are there and to select five six c5 sorry Six women are there and to select five of them, six C5, zero men, five C0.
Now I told you in the previous lesson how to calculate uh, the smaller C number in a faster manner. 6 C3 would be how much that we need to calculate. This will be equal to 6 factorial upon 6 minus 3 factorial into 3 factorial. 5 C2 I told you that N C2 is N into N minus 1 by 2. This will be 5 into 4 by 2. 20 by 2, 10. Plus 6 C4 is same as 6 C2. 5 C1 is 5. N C1, N C N minus 1 is always N. So 5C1 will be 5, 6C5 is 6 into 5C, anything NC0 is 1. So this will be equal to 6 factorial upon 3 factorial into 3 factorial into 10. 6C2 would be 6 into 5 by 2, NC2 is N into N minus 1 by 2 into 5 plus 6. Can I say this equals to 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 factorial upon 3 factorial this 3 factorial I will put the value as 6 so 3 factorial 3 factorial cancel 6 and 6 cancel into 10 this is equals to 2 3 15 into 5 75 plus 6 so this will become 5 into 4 20 into 2 this is equals to 200 plus 75 plus 6 so we have 281 ways we can select 5 person out of these 11 persons. The only thing is that you must know how to calculate this NC3 in a faster manner. By practice you can solve this, this, this kind of question in exam around in less than a minute. Only thing is that you must be able to calculate this 6C3, 6C4 in a faster manner. Question 6 is in how many ways a committee of 10 persons can be selected from a group of 12 men we have 12 men and 10 women and we to, need to select out of this 22 we need to select 10 10 persons in how many ways we can select that it can contains at least one man so don't need to go by like this one man will be there 12 c1 let me first return one man and nine women or two men and eight women and so on or all ten are men and zero women the objective of this question is that you don't have to solve in this way because there will be ten ways to in this way ten times you have to solve do the calculation the better is that at least one man is there so we will calculate total ways of selecting 10 persons out of 22 persons we have to select 10 person out of 22 we have total of 22 person we need to select 10 total ways minus the ways in which no man is there minus selections selections of 10 persons selections as that no man is there we need to select 10 person will not include any man so total cases minus the cases in which no man in, is included so we will left with the cases in which definitely there will be one man so how many ways we can select 10 person out of 22 total 22 c 10 10 person need to select out of 22 different person 22 c 10 minus how many selections are possible such that no man is there so how many it means that no man is there it means we need to select all women how many women we have we have 10 women so 10 women we need to select out of 10 total 10 person we need to select and all should be women so 10 women out of 10 because only 10 women is there we have to select all of them so 10 c 10 we don't need to select any men so we will left with the cases in which all at least one man is there at least one man means one man or two man or three man or all the 10 men can be there so answer will be this this is 20 c 10 this is one the answer will be in this format you don't need to calculate the value of 22 c 10 by combination formula so that will be final answer 
the question i will briefly revise we need to select at least one man so there will be 10 cases possible one man is there with nine women or two man is there with eight women or three man is there with seven women so this will be bit lengthy method better is that total cases minus cases in which no man is there so we will left with the cases in which at least one man is there so total ways of selecting 10 person out of 22 is 22 c 10 minus the ways in which no man is there it means that we have to select the 10 women how many women we have we have 10 women so we need to select all 10 of them so number of ways would be 20 sorry 10 c 10 so answer is 22 c 10 minus 10 c 10 that is 22 c 10 minus 1 so that was all about the uh, lesson 3.1 questions on combinations thank you